Hello and welcome to Craft Tool Leather Stamping Tools for Beginners. This is a leather craft tutorial. I've got three craft tools here. A um, background tool. It's a 888. I believe it's uh, listed in the uh, buyer's guide as a A888. Then the two bevelers I use the most are a B802 for the smaller one and a B803 for the larger one. And uh, what I've got here is some actual coffee coasters that I've got uh, some borders uh, drawn on there. I used uh, C.S. Osborne wing dividers to scribe a line on there and then I cut it in there with a swivel knife. And uh, it's good practice to bevel borders. I've got a single um, line border here, and then I've got a double cut border here. I've got a simple flower and a leaf coming out of each side without any stems. This is good practice to bevel around something like this and then embellish it uh, with some cut marks. Right now I'm going to uh, show you how I bevel. On the long straight cuts I use a B8, uh, B803 and that's what I'll be doing right now. You tap and you move the tool. Start off light, tap a little harder as you go down the stem to get a little definition. And then you can bevel around like this. If you find your beveling is a little bit choppy, you can like come back and smooth it out. It doesn't hurt to go over it two or three times to really make it set it in there deep. Lighten up when you get down towards the end. And let's see, we'll turn that around. I've got this lead weight here. It kind of holds my work still while I'm beveling. I've got the B802 now to bevel around the end of this, uh, this decoration here. You can draw your designs on a piece of paper and then transfer the design to the wet leather by tracing it on there with a saddler's awl or a uh, 
something like that with a um, polished tip on it where it doesn't cut your paper and you can use your pattern over and over this is the design I cut in with a swivel knife without a pattern just for practice it's always good to practice and kind of hone your skills I've been doing this a long time and I still practice trying to uh, try to come up with new ideas and I mean that looks unique like that I could come back and put cut marks in that or I could actually uh, um, use a um, well a couple different things here one of the tools that I recommend for beginners is this tool right here you can kind of vein that a little bit real lightly tap it tap move it like that kind of vein your design Then if you have a pair shader, you can And if you would like to come back in there with your vayner, you can do a stop it kind of brings the color out just a little bit there and you can do that now you can come in there and you can put some um, uh, cut marks with your swivel knife in there and uh, another tool that I recommend is the uh, A88 8 let's see I always get that wrong A888 it's got a pointed end on one end. You can get up in there in the tight spots like that. Or you can bevel around your whole design to kind of bring your uh, design up a little bit. The beveling does a little bit, and then when you put the background on there, it kind of um, draws attention to your uh, tooling a little more this should give you some ideas of what you can do with just a few simple and useful tools. Um, we got the B802, the B803, and this um, A888, and uh, used a pear shader also. And uh, select a swivel knife that suits you, that you can cut with. Um, you can try some out. Find a swivel knife you're comfortable with and uh, keep it sharp and uh, wet it on your uh, uh, wet strap. Okay, that's what you can do with just a few craft tools. This is a design I used a, a camouflage tool and a pair of shader. This is seven tools and the stamp, the mark they make. Here's a design I used uh, these uh, seven craft tools uh, with. 
and there's a close-up of the tooling there's some coffee coasters the imprints the tools make and that's the tools I used for this leather craft tutorial um, the bevelers the background tool the pear shader and uh, the vayner tool thanks for watching see you next time